Hello everyone, I'm Anne Harrod Pass from Practical Action and today during STEM Clubs Week we're looking at sustainable food. So I'm going to show you a really fun activity you can do at home to do with growing food on water. This activity is called the Floating Garden Challenge and it's based on a real life Practical Action project in Bangladesh where due to climate change the rainy season has become longer and this severe flooding means many families aren't able to grow crops on their land to feed their families. They've had to adapt. Your challenge is to design and build a model of a structure that people can grow their crops on, even when their land becomes flooded. A floating garden. For this, you will need some modelling equipment. You might want to use plastic bottles, food trays, lolly sticks, foil, sticks and twigs, straws, bubble wrap, and anything else you can find at home. To cut and join it together, you'll need to use scissors, possibly sellotape, string, glue tack, elastic bands, plasticine, and then to test it, you'll need a body of water, the sink, a bowl, the bath, or even a paddling pool. You might even want to add weight to test to see how much it can hold. For your floating garden, you'll need to think about whether and how it can float, can your model grow crops on it? Is it going to be flat or layered? And the size, you need to be able to test it in the water. So for my floating garden, I've started preparing it and I'm going to use some plastic bottles. These are going to be the aids that allow it to float. I know uh, that that will make sure it stays above the water, fingers crossed. I've also started putting together, uh, using lolly sticks, a bit of a mesh. So I've glued these lolly sticks together really simply, but you could also use sellotape or string. On top of the lolly sticks, I'm going to add uh, this mesh of straws. I've woven it together and then just tied it with string. Um, I'm going for kind of a layered effect and then you can grow the garden on top. Um, and then finally, before I add soil, I'm going to place um, some grass on top of my floating garden. This allows uh, the soil to stay on top um, and it creates a really nice layer to grow your crops on. So I'm placing those on there. Um, so my next job is I'm going to tie my floating garden to my bottles, which allow it to float. So I'm just going to move those out of the way there. So I'm going to attach the plastic bottles onto my mesh of lolly sticks here. And I'm going to tie them on using string. I'm going to cut a good amount of string here. And I'm going to flip this over. And then I'm going to tie the floating garden around my bottles nice and securely to create something that will float. Now I haven't tested this particular model yet, so we'll give that a go in a moment. There we go, just attaching it with a string. nice and securely. Um, I've got two bottles that aren't quite the same size. It'd be work better if you probably have bottles that are similar size. I mean the garden is a little bit more balanced and a little flatter but we're going to give it a go anyway and we'll see what happens. It's also quite useful if your bottles have a bit of a ridge on them to allow the string to kind of catch hold so they don't slip off. So I'll have a look at this. This should be okay. There we go. One more piece of string I can start with. Attach it on nice and securely. I'm doing double knots, sort of a reef knot if you're into your knots to allow this to happen. So there, we've got the garden which hopefully will float in the water. So I'm placing my uh, mat of straws and then grass on top and then we're going to place it into the water which I've got ready here. That's a good start, it floats so we're on our way and I'm going to start testing it by placing some tins. So I'm going to start with some uh, tuna just to check, it's fairly light. Oh, excellent, that's a really good start. I'm going to add some small cans of baked beans. Oh, it's a little bit wobbly, so slightly unbalanced so I might need to adjust where my bottles sit on the floating garden. I'm going to place the second tin of beans here, try and get it to balance because that'll be a really key part of it. 
while it's still floating we're losing a bit of the balance of the garden but there we go it's floating currently so i might want to adjust where the bottles sit um, but that's just my uh, example of a floating garden there are so many other ways you can do it um, you could use food trays um, i've got a different range of straws i've got some more lolly sticks i've got foil which i haven't tested out yet um, blue tack and sellotape um, so give it a go so good luck with your challenge everyone we really like you to share what you've done so that we can see what you've been up to uh, so to share what you've been doing tweet a picture using the hashtag stem clubs week um, tagging in at stem clubs or if you'd like you could email stem clubs at stem.org.uk have fun <laughs>